Michael Tubbs of Stockton, the floor is yours. It's such an honor to be on a Zoom panel with folks who have taught me a lot about leadership and governance. I think the cities of Oakland, Columbia, Los Angeles, um, the entire United States are, are lucky to have people like you who are choosing to serve in an unprecedented time, in a time where it's not easy, um, in a time where there's a million things that could, that could be a lot easier um, than serving and trying to solve questions that really played our country since inception. Um, it's really about sort of equality under the law and do we really guarantee the constitutional provisions to every single person in our country. Um, like every mayor on here, um, before the George Floyd um, murder, our police department was working overtime and doing everything we could to repair kind of police community relations. Our police chief starts training with the understanding for all of our officers and for the community that we understand that the American institution of policing started with slave patrols. And he talks about that ugly history and how we have to fight every day to reverse that. Uh, we've, we've, uh, we've done all of Obama's 21st century task force recommendations. We've been doing body cameras since 2015. All of our officers are trained in procedural justice and implicit bias training. And we also had the largest decline in officer-involved shootings in the state of California last year. And all that's good work, but again, this moment is reckoning to, with us that it, it's not enough. So in addition to the policing work, and that's why I appreciate um, Congresswoman Bass's leadership, is that we also have, a, have to have a conversation because it's not just fair to hold police officers accountable for not treating everyone equally when every institution in our society does the same thing. And I think the police violence is an entry point for us to really get to structural violence, which is really defined as the avoidable impairment of basic human needs. I think we all know the stats that it's not just cops that treat black people different than white people, um, but it's in our banking system. It's in how, what type of loans are given. It's in our school system. It's in the discipline that teachers hand out. It's in our land use decisions in terms of where environmental hazards go. It's in our wages. It's in, it's in every single part of our society. And I think that's the work we're called on to do together with policing as a starting point and doing all the things necessary to hold our law enforcement officers accountable, to give them the opportunity to do their jobs, our law enforcement policing about public safety. But we also have to look at this in terms of how do we just change the structures of our society so that every single institution, so we can't do it for individuals, but we can make sure every single policy and every single institution is crafted in such a way that it reflects what we said to be true on paper, that all people are created equal. So to that end, much like Mayor Schaff in Oakland with her Oakland promise, um, we've done something similar in Stockton with Stockton Scholars. So that for the next decade, every single kid from our largest school district is guaranteed a scholarship to a four-year, two-year trade school. Um, as Mayor Garcetti mentioned, for the past 18 months, we've been piloting a basic income understanding that economic insecurity, that poverty is also violence. And that 50 plus years ago at a time of national unrest, Dr. King was calling for a guaranteed income as a way for, for leveling the playing field and giving people a foundation to build upon in times of pandemics, but also just in, in, in regular times as folks um, seem to better themselves and their families. We've also been piloting kind of public health approaches, much like my friend in Oakland, to gun violence re reduction through programs like ceasefire and advanced peace, that doesn't treat gun violence as an issue of just cops and, and jails, but treats it as a public health issue and identifies, uses data and provides case management and opportunity for folks who want to change. And we've seen over the past three years, a 40% reduction um, in homicides and a 30% reduction in shootings um, in the city of Stockton. But again, there, there's much work to do and I'm honored to be co-laborers with you all as we seek to really continue to push our country forward um, to form that more perfect union.